so it's time for an official chit chat look i know it's been a minute i've had a lot going on you guys have heard about it in my previous vlog and my previous chit chat which was basically over one particular subject so it's been a minute so i figured you know what jb's over there knocked out child let me go ahead and record something before i you know wake him up um so yes y'all this is a chit chat i will be styling my hair excuse me i will be setting my hair in twists i'm in the middle of reviewing the african pride moisture miracle line for y'all because y'all getting on my nerves <laughs> so rude so rude um i'm hesitant about this line but i'm willing to make it work out okay so all right you guys what's been going on hmm so you know how we do we talk about what i've been doing what's been going on what's happening in these youtube streets and what i've been watching so you guys know my last two vlogs that we are getting over COVID, and like i've said i will keep praising god i don't care fast forward it thank you lord we have had mild symptoms thank you god um now we still have a cough <laughs> i'm gonna have to take out a few clips in, in this video because i'm i'm coughing every now and then my husband is coughing every now and then jb's good jb is straight so we are fine you guys we yeah we we are good and now i am going on about my life as if i never had it meaning i'm still taking the necessary precautions when we go out um and that's what i think everyone should do honestly so yeah we've been good for almost two weeks right now um i took the time this week to really get our homeschooling stuff together i did lesson plans for the first three weeks and yeah i'm i feel i'm feeling comfortable about that i really am i think we're, we're on to a we're gonna be on to a good start so um yeah that's been going on um Cha, my birthday is coming up in two more weeks. Shout out to all of the Leos, those of you who had birthdays for the past three or four months, but shout out specifically to you Leos. Shout out to Marlene G. Let me say her name correctly. Marlene G over in Belgium. Um, happy birthday, homegirl. I know your birthday is coming up. Happy 21st birthday to you. <laughs> I say that because I know she's in her 40s. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'm turning the big four zero August 11th. I am so grateful, y'all. It is a good look. A few times here when I was waking up, it felt like I felt like I wanted to go back to sleep and go back to that dream because the dream felt safer than the reality. But the fact of the matter, I've had to have a change of heart and look at it. It's a great, it's a great time to be alive. Um, yes, every day it feels like we're in some uh, badass science experiment or I should say social experiment, but you know, it's a good time to be alive. So I'm very grateful, absolutely grateful to have seen 40 or about to see 40 because so many people did not. Um, so all praises to God for that. Girl, what's it? He's just gonna come back down my birthday because this is the thing we were supposed to go to california for our birthdays and you know i still know of people who are going child i still know of people who are going on vacations and they're doing my own co-worker is taking her ass is going to florida for two weeks like i'm like are y'all crazy first of all there's a hurricane going on and Florida is, is having like over 4,000 cases a, a freaking day. She wants to take her butt down to Florida though, her and her family. They're going from Michigan to Florida for two weeks. So, you know, um, yeah. So we were supposed to have gone to Mission Bay in California, California for the entire week. And of course we canceled all of that. Um, and so we're just gonna be staying home and y'all i had a mini let me just be transparent i've been having mini breakdowns about almost every day i really have and it can be over the simplest of things so <laughs> this past friday i was checking the schedule meaning my work schedule making things making sure that everything is okay 
and my coworker slash friend Christine was like, Vivian, let me know again what what week you're gonna be off for your birthday, so I can, cause I'm thinking about taking some few days off, right? So I'm like, okay, girl. So I checked the schedule and I noticed. <laughs> excuse me oh because she said i didn't receive your calendar invite for your pto so i'm like oh, girl i sent that out weeks ago months ago because i was supposed to be in california right y'all why did i check the calendar and i forgot to send out the request not only that but i see that the person who typically backs me up she's the one going to florida i was like are you kidding me i started crying i'm like i cannot believe I forgot to take that week off. I always take, I don't know about you baby, but me, Miss Jackson, Miss Denza, I always take my birthday week off. Cause I ain't, I'm, no. So I forgot because of everything that's going on just in the home life, I forgot to take my birthday off. Um, but I check with Christine, I'm like, look, I normally don't need for you to cover me, but can you cover me so I could just take a few days off? You know, and my husband already took, you know, he already took that week off. So she's like, yeah, I'll cover for you. I'm like, good. So I'm not able to take the entire week off, but I was able to take, I'm able to take a couple of days off. Um, I'm grateful for that. Any time off is, is I'm grateful. So content for my birthday. Um, first of all, I am going to be getting dressed up. I'm going to be doing my hair. I'm going to be blowing out my hair and cutting my ends because look at this. I need my ends. They need to be cut. Um, trimming my ends, excuse me. I shouldn't be using this comb, child. And um, I will be doing a style on blowing out hair. I was thinking about flat ironing my hair, but I don't think my hair is where it needs to be health wise. So I don't want to be adding additional heat. Plus, girl, I ain't got three days to be flat ironing my damn hair. <laughs> I ain't got three days to be flying iron in my hair. I could probably go to Miss Arlette and she would, actually she told me she wouldn't flat iron my hair. She didn't say that, but she just made a comment last time. She said, yeah, we're not flat ironing. She'll blow it out for me. But even that, even her, because she's so patient, when I go to Miss Arlette, a detangling and flat iron is about three hours. Yeah. So anyway, y'all. Um, get to the point girl. So next month is my birthday. I have a bunch of different content surrounding my birthday. So we will be doing a giveaway, a birthday giveaway of my favorite beauty and hair care products. Um, of course I will be doing my makeup, slamming makeup. Um, I'm going to be doing a little mini fashion show of all the clothes and shoes I've been buying because every birthday I buy myself a gift. But since it's my 40th, I have a bunch of mini gifts, okay, that I purchased myself. Plus it's quarantine shopping. Hell. Um, so I have a bunch of mini stuff that came in and that's still coming in. Um, so yeah, a separate video on all my birthday gifts that is coming in. Of course, I'm going to be, look, I can cook. Yeah, y'all see my videos? I can cook. But what I'm really known for is my baking. I think I'm a better baker than I am cook. So I'm gonna be making my birthday cake. And girl, I'm not ordering nothing. Well, meaning my birthday cake. Um, oh, I thought I heard something. So I will be making a Chantilly cake. Um, Chantilly cake is really known in New Orleans and also Whole Foods. So it's basically a berry cream layer cake. Now my Chantilly cream is gonna have mascarpone. Is it mascarpone or mascarpone? Mascarpone, cream cheese, heavy cream. Oh yes, vanilla. I got me that good Mexican vanilla. I'm not playing y'all. So we're gonna be having, um, uh, I'm not gonna be cooking. I will, let me back up. I'm gonna be making the main course, which is gonna be very simple. Um, catfish tacos with a tequila, <laughs> girl, just messy. Catfish tacos with a corn tequila lime salsa. Oh yes, I'm not playing, but it's very simple. Like literally this meal could be prepped to cook in 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna order all of the sides from a local restaurant, all the sides, and margaritas from a local restaurant. So yeah, I'll make the cake earlier in the day or maybe even the day before the catfish, cause I don't like my fish to be soggy. You know, catfish needs to be made to order. Fish in general needs to be fried to order. So 
um yeah that's happening what else with my birthday of course you know filming the blowout filming the cutting my hair um i will be doing a style with my hair i was trying to figure out girl get it together i was trying to figure out a style you guys i get so much shrinkage when i style my hair on blown out hair and i want my hair to look or be long um i don't want to have too much shrinkage so i think i'm going to wear it in a blown out state for a couple of days and then i'm going to try to do flexi rods the flexi rods will flexi rods or even twists will keep my hair um, stretched out a little bit so yeah that's what's happening and those of you who don't know my husband birthday is the day afterwards so we're celebrating together girl um i went ahead and got his birthday presents i started early i got him some stuff like last month and then I'm, I have some more stuff coming in for him soon. Um, yeah. So that's what's going on with the personal stuff. <laughs> so watch out for those videos coming, girl. Watch out for those videos. Y'all, I need to hush up and do my hair because I need to wake up JB here in like 15 minutes. JB is doing well. Um, child, like I said in the video, uh, JB recovered the fastest. But you know what I was thinking? Remember how I was mentioning in the COVID journey video how JB was the only person that had a fever in the daytime of over 100. I really do think that the fact that he had the highest fever out of, even though 101 isn't a really high fever, but he's a small child. I think the fact that he had such a high fever in the daytime also contributed to him getting over it the quickest. Not because my husband kept having a low grade fever for like, nine days like no joke y'all i felt so bad for my husband I, keep in mind i felt good after about four no that's a lot after about six or seven days i was on the men's i had shortness of breath for a couple of days but you know just seeing him like that really was taking a toll on me and this was going on off and on for a while. Okay, girl, enough of that. So, all right, y'all, what are we watching on YouTube? So, let me say this about my video in response to Linda Lynn. I was really not expecting for my video to get that many views, y'all. I think it's like at 10,000 views. Sorry, y'all, my camera went off. Um, I wasn't expecting for that video to get that many views. Like... That's crazy. And honestly, I don't think Linda was even expecting for her videos to get that many views. Um, I've seen other people who've done videos in response to the situation with Linda and um, Monique. Y'all, I did tune in to one of her because I like to give everyone the benefit of a doubt, which is why I'm not really big into the cancel culture. So I did tune in to one of her live prayers. Um, <laughs> okay, the reason why I'm laughing is because I had to fast forward in one of her lives and I could have sworn she literally prayed about her enemies falling into a hole. And I'm like, what? Hmm. And I know that's a, a, a metaphor, you know, it, she doesn't really intend for her you know the people who are against her to have physical uh get be physically hurt but i just thought that was very odd thought it was very very odd um you know i'm not gonna say any more about that entire situation but i just know that i have seen those other videos and um some people i am i am in agreement with and then other people i'm like mm, not sure if I necessarily, I agree with some of you girl, but I'm not sure if I agree with everything that you're saying. So, and that's okay. Everybody is, is entitled to their opinion, but I do love the fact, regardless of where you stand, I do love the fact that so many people are um, rallying around Linda because I, I can tell that she's really supportive. Y'all, when I saw her video, I started crying. I'm already crying. Thanks to everyone who has been supporting her. That was just so sweet of her, you know. Um, so anyway, y'all. Yeah, catching up on those videos. Um, 
you know who I've been watching? She's a new YouTuber. She's a young lady. Um, she has either four or five children. Her video has been coming up as a, hold on y'all, let me zoom in. Her video had been coming up as a recommendation and I think it was like, um, tour of the of the projects and sometimes y'all i'm like okay i i don't want to see any videos glorifying the struggle life i don't want to see this but it was so not what i expected first of all i already knew that some people not some not all that some people who live in the projects they're not living in rundown housing you know, or housing they're not living in rundown apartments cockroaches everywhere you know welfare queens and kings it's not like that i get that but i just didn't want to get into that situation where it's almost like um i hate to bring her up strong mommy chrissy who was another young lady who has like, seriously, at this point, she has like eight kids by six different men. And it's just a extremely toxic. She has a very top, I shouldn't say her, but the situation she's in seems to be toxic and completely going around in a circle all the time. I don't see her going outside of the circle. She's just all, she's making the same mistakes and she's not learning from them. I really do wish someone like that any anyone could reach out to people elders in her community or family um anyway back to this young lady her name is peach mech mech mechanite mechan mechanite y'all can't even say her name right but it's peach <laughs> like eating the fruit peach and again the first video i saw was a tour of her apartment and she's on housing and it's very well put together, you know, decorated nicely. It's clean, looks like it smells like pine salt and bleach. I'm like, yes, come through, sis. Um, but I like her. I like her personality. I like binge to watch a couple of her videos. Look, we have to really humble, humble ourselves because any one of us can be in that situation, especially nowadays. So, um, yeah, I really do like her videos. I watched several of her videos, actually. Let's see, who else am I watching? Um, I have some notes here. Girl, I got back on the, <laughs> she posted a, vi a video. Yeah, I love these OG YouTubers who, I like the underdogs, or the ones who, they're, they're, you may not agree with everything, but they still are consistent with the BS. They consistently uh, pull up the same raggedy camera or phone. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that if they have people watching them. So um, so I was watching a couple of people and then I came across Michiwichi. Michiwichi is in a Dominican and she was really known for like five, six years ago, really known for her Dominican blowout videos. And by the way, she's not one of the ones I'm talking about with the, the raggedy quality. No, I'm talking about some other people whose quality is like, girl. But I like Mitchie Witchy. Y'all, I will watch Mitchie Witchy videos in both English and Spanish, not knowing a lick of Spanish, child, but I will still watch it. Um, so I went back and watched some of her old blowout videos and man, they were using, Dominicans already use a lot of heat. They were using a crazy amount of heat on her hair. Um, but it looked like her hair could handle it, you know? It looks like it could handle it. So, um, oh, just before I came on, I told y'all these OG YouTubers, Colored Beautiful. Is her name Ebony? Is that her first name? I'm making up names. Colored Beautiful, who I know she's based out of California. <coughs> She posted, you guys. Now, she's been gone for a minute. Two, three years. She's been gone for a while. I remember watching her videos, her makeup tutorials, and then she started doing wigs. Then she locked her hair. She she got locked. She since combed those out, though. But you guys, I don't know. Um, She went on that same space spiritual awakening path that Taryn Guy did. And if that's your thing, baby, do you, but I'm, I'm not really into this new age stuff that, you know, people do. Um, but again, if that's what brings them happiness, if that's what brings them some type of peace, so be it. And I can tell within, I'm a, I don't want to say that I'm, 
I think that I'm a good, a fairly good judgment of people, but I also give people the, the opportunity to explain themselves while I'm sitting back and waiting for the, okay, I knew it. <laughs> so about 15 minutes into her new video, she was saying how, you know, things in 2020, she's finally glad that some people are awakening. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Not most. Which again, there's nothing wrong with that, but just don't assume, and I'm not saying her in general, but just don't assume that people are not woke because you don't hear them sharing, um, you know, their opinions on something. Um, so anyway, um, so towards the end of the video or the middle of the video, she did say that she will be sharing a bit of her spiritual side on her channel, um, and that she is into cards and reading cards. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, so she's, you know, that's if that's her thing, that's her thing. I probably won't be tuning into that, you guys, because that's just not my thing, okay? That's not something that I'm into, and I get it. You know, a, a, a lot of people are into, um, you know, whatever. Whatever is your cup of tea, you know, crystals, <laughs> girl, crystals and stuff. I'm excited to see her face. I don't know if it was nerves. She did say she was nervous. Um... She seems to me to be, and I didn't watch all of her videos, so I, I may be jumping the gun here. She seems to me to be a little bit drained. And I don't remember if she said that. She seems drained. She seems, she, she, she's sure of herself. Um, I, I'm not getting that, that she's insecure or anything like that. She's very sure of herself and she, she understands who she is as an individual, but Everything that's going on in the world right now is draining her. It's been it's been a drain on her, and I think it's been that way with a lot of us, to be to be quite honest, you know. Um, so yeah, she's back, which is exciting, you know. Girl, what is going on here? Um. So yeah, you guys, that is all I've been seeing on YouTube. Uh, nothing else. I've really been looking at. I haven't really been interested in seeing, you know, a lot of people. Um, <laughs> all right, y'all. So what I'm watching on TV. So look, I thought honestly, since we were out sick with the coronavirus and all this, I'm thinking, okay, I can catch up on my binge watching. Nope. Nope. And was mostly because I was in a better position than my husband. So I was up tending to him, tending to him, excuse me, making ginger tea, cleaning, um, picking up prescriptions. So yeah, I was on mommy wife duty, nurse duty. Um, by the way, let me tell you something. You know, like I said in my video about the virus, um, your symptoms come and go, come and go. And when you feel better, sit your ass down. The reason why I say this is <laughs> I can't believe I, hold on. Get, get, hold on, hold on. I can't believe I'm, I'm admitted to this. You guys know that I experienced shortness of breath, right, for a few days, for like three or four days, right? Well, by the second day, I'm like, okay, I feel okay. Why was I listening to something? And I started, you know, twerking it, twerking. Girl, 30 seconds into my twerking, I started getting shortness of breath again. I'm like, oh, I can't twerk? Oh, this is a problem. I'm gonna sit my ass down and get on my, my inhaler. Heads up, don't be trying to twerk, pop lock and drop it. First of all, your knees ain't gonna be able to handle it. Either. Don't do it, girl. Sit your butt down, rest. <laughs> don't try to do it. Oh my God, I don't know what made me thought I could do that. So. so I thought I would be able to watch a couple of shows and no, uh, Antoinette Busby and ask her what she was watching. She gave me some recommendations for Amazon. Girl, what is going on? For Amazon Prime, I started to watch Goliath with Billy Bob Thornton. It's good. I'm just on the first episode, though. Um, Rewatching Vera, which is based out of the UK. You guys know how I love my UK, my BBC stuff. So I had to order, is it Acorn TV? To add Acorn TV to the Amazon to watch it. I'm on season four of Vera. And it's so funny, the main actress, I believe her name is Brenda Blythe. She is the mom. <laughs> Do y'all remember the movie The Witches from the 90s with Angelica Houston? Where the boy goes to the hotel on holiday with his grandmother and the witch turns, into, turns them into mouse, him and Bruno. 
Bruno's mother is the actress Vera on this show, which is very interesting. So that's, I like little facts like that. Anyway, so um, I am, did not finish Dark because I want to go back and watch all of Dark 2, season 2, excuse me, and then go back and watch season 3. So yeah, yeah, I haven't really been watching, um, I haven't been watching stuff like that. Now, I have been watching movies. I saw a couple of movies that were just, just a fail. Some of them were good, and then some of them were like, yeah, no. Um, I did see a scary movie <coughs> on Netflix Flix called Stephanie surrounding a little girl very different i did like that very get different again the name is stephanie there was another one with um kevin what is his name his his nose kind of points up kevin kevin something i forgot his name but it was okay um saw don't be afraid of the dark whack Whack movies, another scary movie, just whack, wasn't good at all. Rewatch Candyman, girls, you can't touch Candyman. A lot of these scary movies now cannot touch Candyman at all. So then I decided to give, what is the movie called y'all, with Nia Long and Omar Epps? I decided to give Fatal Affair a chance. Y'all, why do they keep doing, it's the same tired, recycled storyline. We've seen this in like 10 different type of movies. You already know what's gonna happen. I already, look, halfway through the movie, I'm like, oh my, where is Keisha? What? <laughs> Y'all, I was like, where is Keisha? I hope you, that you be checking me. I know what you're talking about. I start, <laughs> isn't he married to Keisha? The really, they're all pretty. I watching it and started listening to Total. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna listen to Total. I'm gonna put some shades on. So I didn't finish watching it because I pretty much knew what was gonna happen. I literally stopped watching it like 30 minutes before it ended because I'm like, I can't. <clears throat> no, I ain't gonna be able to finish this. So let me know how it turned out, girl. Because <laughs> I didn't want to watch it. Y'all, yeah, give me some recommendations. Y'all give me some recommendations. I'm, I promise you, I will add them. I'm ready to watch something. I want some series. Now there is a series that's coming out in two more weeks. Something Lovecraft with the light-skinned girl from Erica's Badu. Erica's girl, Eve's Bayou. Erica's Badu, what the hell? Um, Coming on HBO. I am here for that. I need to finish Vera, cancel Amazon Prime, and turn back on HBO for it though because I ain't gonna be pent, look. How many dang old apps do we need to pay for? Because at this point, Miss Jackson is paying for Netflix, Hulu, Sling. Wait, wait. Netflix, Hulu, Sling, and Amazon Prime. Four. Granted, all four of those are still cheaper than DirecTV. Ain't that some mess? Look how shiny my hair is, y'all. This twist up better come out bump. So y'all, let me hush up and wake up this child. He he woke up early. That's why he's taking a nap. But y'all, I did do my nails. Girl, look at those nails, girl. So this is Canadian Maple from D, is it D&D? &D? So y'all, I get these kits through eBay. So it basically comes with a dip powder, a gel, gel color, and like a regular color. So this is the color I used to wear when I go see um, Tina and Tom. We ain't going up there. A girl would go in there, pop in, chow bow. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you say hi in Vietnamese, chow bow. <laughs> they were laughing at me. Chow, look, I'm not playing. I have learned how to say hello in like 10 different languages. I need to be able to greet you and your mother tongue. So I will bust up in there. I'm like, hey y'all, chow bow. They're like, hey Vivian, you have a C honey, you pick color. <laughs> Don't have no C. <laughs> so that is it y'all, I'm gonna finish. Hold on, girl, hold on. That's just some red wine. Look y'all, when I, <laughs> the last time I was at my doctor's, he was looking at my labs and he was like, have you been drinking a lot more? I'm like, yes, doctor, I have. What you drinking on? Cause I'm drinking on red wine. He's like, um, yeah, cause I could tell, <coughs> cause you seem a little bit more hot, dehydrated. So he's like, you know, just make sure you're drinking plenty of water. But 
I said, he's, he asked me, you know, they ask you the standard questions, um, how many glasses or how many drinks you have. I said, well, um, before, before March, it was two to three. Actually, it wasn't even that much. I only drink socially. But now, um, I'm drinking like every two days, just a glass of wine. Like literally, not nah, since it's the weekend, I'll have about two of these. But I'll have like half a glass, you guys, with my dinner every other day. And he's like, yeah, that's... <laughs> It's like, no, you don't need to attend no AA meeting. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to continue to set my hair. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.